Well, I'm coming to you with the latest news from Zay Nathan Okori, the late Jacob Olanya's father. And of course, this is a development that I believe you don't want to miss on. Stand by for the details. Well, in other news, I have bad news from Segrinya Muhammad and Alan Sewanyana. Stand by for the details as well. But also, I have the latest news from Farida Nakazwe's camp. Yes, I have the latest news from uh, Farida Nakazwe's camp. So make sure that you keep it right here on the Buzz UG. How are you doing? I hope that everything is okay. Have you subscribed? In case you haven't subscribed, kindly tap on the subscribe word on your screen and do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. We are talking about 11.5k subscribers. You guys, thank you so much for subscribing. We are growing so big time. Remember, our target is 20k subscribers for now when we hit that target of 20k subscribers we shall then have another target and of course we shall grow just like that now going to our stories for now let me start with farida nakaziwe well today farida nakaziwe's mother uh celebrates 60 years and i would like to say happy birthday to mama fadi we love you so big time you know thanks for bringing up such an amazing lady that is uh, farida nakaziwe but guess what actually farida nakaziwe made her mother cry she surprised her with that beautiful car you're seeing right there. And the mother couldn't believe it. She was like, oh my god, this is too big. I didn't anticipate this. <laughs> you know, she was so happy. She cried. Hey, congratulations, mama. And may you age gracefully. And uh, to you, Farid and Nakazwe, may God bless you for that you did for your mother. I mean, there are very many people who have, you know, capacity to do such for their mothers. They have enough money, but I mean, they cannot do it. We don't know why. But of course, for you, you decided to do it for your mother. Ah, I would like to say big up to you, Farida Nakazwe, for doing such for your mother. Now, in other news, uh, the late Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya's father, that is Mzei Nathan Okori, has finally responded to Uganda police. Uh, we all know recently, Fred Nanga, in a press briefing, said Mzei will be needed at police to answer questions about the death of the big man, Jacob Olanya. But guess what? This Mzei is not a joke, and he's never threatened. He has actually said that the investigation about his poison statement is very useless. Uh, you remember recently, Mzei said his son told him he was poisoned before he passed on and that is why the spokesperson of Uganda police Fred Nanga came out and said that Musei we will need you at police to ask questions about the death of the big man Jacob Olanya but Musei says how do you summon someone who did not mention any names in his statement I'm telling you, Muse is very tough and very disappointed in Uganda police, but in his own words, he said, I did not say so and so poisoned my son. So what are the police investigating when I did not name any suspects? The probe is useless. <laughs> You're joking with Okori. Hey, hey. But also, it should be remembered that recently, uh, the Minister of Internal Affairs, that is Kahinda Otafiri, supported the summoning of Mzei Okori. But the Minister of Internal Affairs, that is uh, Kahinda Otafiri, said it's better for police to drive to Mzei Okori's home, that is in Omori district, but not him coming to Kampala. Because you never know, he has some other information that he would like to share. That is why it's very important for police to have a conversation with him. Immediately I heard what Yananga had said, which was right, I said now, don't uh, uh, treat Muzai Okori to the indignity of somebody in Kampala, let the police go to, and talk to him. And why do you want to talk to him? Because there are things Okori could have wanted to say he couldn't say publicly. So the police goes to him and say, Muzai, is there something else you would have wanted to say but you didn't say publicly? Can you help us? Is there was something you know that we don't that could help us to follow this complaint of yours? Well, there you go. That is the Minister of Internal Affairs, Kahinda Otafire. I'm watching on this story very closely and I'll keep you posted. Well, in other news, the leader of opposition, that is Mathas Mbuga, together with other members of parliament, the other day visited incarcerated members of parliament, that is Honorable Segrinya Muhammad and Alan Sewanyana in Chigo prison. 
Now, Jorge Bomboga says these members of parliament look very anemic and therefore there is need for urgent medication. Mulamurunji, <laughs> Uh, right Honorable Speaker, ne Deputy, Sengaba Batu Yamba Neva Janevala Bembera Maganda Bafejevali Mu, such that Aba Bata Kirizi Ganyana Kubatu Alamu Dwadiro, Basoboro Kuba Kirizisa, Ntiabantu Vanoveta Gobu Janjabi Wama. Now, Hore Bombuga also said he's going to try his best to speak to different people so that these members of parliament can at least access medication in a better facility, not Chigo, where they are right now. Nature Kuba Janjava, Nokuba Janjava, Janjava, Wimbele, Singako, Silozan, Jeta Kokte Sokonji, Okuja Konga, Abakumi Dewano, Yabasadia Dogo Kufa, Natabuli Rangagwanga. There you go. That is uh, the leader of opposition in parliament, Horebo Mathas Mbuga. Now, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, that is Stephen Kazimba Mugalu, has called upon government to prosecute perpetrators who misuse the public funds for their own good. We wish to remind you all that corruption is an evil that is condemned by God and in all the scriptures. Perpetrators who plunder public funds and resources for their personal benefit should be brought to book. Well, that is the latest news I have on the Buzz UG, and I do not know what you make of this news, but uh, in case you have anything that you would like to say, you know, leave your comment in the comment section right there. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.